The collection of the e-levy began yesterday. And like a slap in the face, it began on May Day. <laughs> when we are supposed to be celebrating workers, we are celebrating a new tax imposed on them. And already there's a litany of complaints about the implementation. I've heard complaints of transfers of under 100 CDs being subject to tax contrary to the law. And I've heard others say that they sent 1,000 CDs and paid no additional tax. Clearly, the Ghana Revenue Authority and those responsible for this tax were not ready for its implementation. Government's desperation to tax Ghanaians to get this nation out of the hell hole it has dumped us will not succeed because government's own budget proposals show that the e-levy will not make any significant contribution in resolving our problems, but will exact an adverse toll on the people of Ghana. We in the NDC do not oppose taxation as a principle. We will not be pretentious and couch fanciful slogans to condemn the principle of taxation like the MPP did in the past. We are, however, implacably opposed to distortionary and burdensome taxes like the e-levy that only forced Ghanaians to endure more suffering. A new National Democratic Congress government, God willing, and with the votes of the sovereign people of Ghana in 2025, will repeal the E-Levy Act. Even as this government remains fixated with taxing their way out of economic mismanagement, the Akufuado government has been wasteful. They failed to demonstrate prudence in public financial management. The people of Ghana cannot be called upon to pay more taxes only for their accruing money belonging to the people to be dubiously and wastefully shared amongst family and friends through various fraudulent procurement practices. The creature comforts of the president and his officials cannot be more paramount than the need to protect the public purse and make savings that can be invested in more useful ventures, ventures such as education, health, and social housing for Ghanaians.